Three, two, one. Oh! What up, Rep Bag? It's your boy here, King Reptar, back with another video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And if you guys are too the trail. Here. And today I have a very very interesting subject. So right here we have this giant crate. If you guys know Wish, it is like one of my favorite websites in the world to shop on because you can buy things like this that are like twenty dollars. Right now on screen's a tank burger. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can get all types of insane stuff, but sometimes you can also get items where they're like two hundred dollars and you get this. Right now on screen is a crossbow that shoots rubber ducks. Oh. <laughs> you can get terrible items as well. But what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be trying to guess the price based off of the random items that are inside of here and just want to thank you guys so much for being a part of everything that's going on right now the world is insane so if the videos are a little bit shorter a little bit more infrequent as i try my best that is why just so you know ahead of time i'm gonna try my best to keep things moving and keep the videos the length you guys like them oh the way the world is right now it is very very difficult to get the resources you need to make videos <laughs> but what we're going to be doing though is how we're going to run this is when i pull the item out me and parker to try and guess what is the price of that item using wish logic but the the winner of this is a take home a $500 grand prize. I like grand prizes. Yes, it's very grand. It's the grandest. It's like the Grand Canyon of prizes. The only grand I don't like is wizard. Wizard grand. Oh, the grand wizard. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but it is a grand prize of $500. And also, you get to keep the complete loadout of whatever is inside of here. And in the current economy, what we got, you might need a little house protection. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So let's pop this thing open. Let's see what the first item is. And again, guys, last time we did this, there was a $50 category, a $100 category, and a $150 category. We're going to be doing the same way, except we're not going to know what the category is to make it a little bit more difficult. Unboxing crate! Yeah, you guys will see it in there, though. <laughs> I think we kind of did. Well, it was temporarily blurred out because I didn't see it, so you can't see it either. That's cheating. Okay. <laughs> let's pull this thing out and let's see what the first item is. So, you guys at home are going to be playing along. When I pull the item out, you guys have to try and guess what you think the value of this item is. Comment it down below. And you'll see who's right, who the real weapon geniuses are in the comments down below. Let's pull out the first bag. Big Bertha. <laughs> what? This package. Big Bertha. Have you ever met someone named Bertha? Bertha is like somebody who's just agile, you know, they're on the job, they're getting the things they need to done, they're responsible. Bertha is 600 pounds. <laughs> I can't make it up six steps. But you know what? If she gets any sort of momentum, you're done. Yes, that's what they call Indiana Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pull the first item out of here. Wait, it's like it's more than one. Whoa. Are we guessing one or all of them? I don't know. Let's open up one first. Oh. <laughs> this one says Iron Raver and Claw. What the hell is this? What? what? Dude! This is like a finger gauntlet. Oh. <laughs> oh, no wonder there's five. There's a lot of them. That's probably for both hands. <laughs> Dude, look at that though. That is like a uh, Dark Souls Panther. <laughs> <laughs> or a pointy fingered nun. <laughs> Let's try them on, see how these things work. All right, you motherfucker. <laughs> Dude, that is sick. We have like Black Panther gauntlet claws. You look like a ghetto teenage robot. <laughs> <laughs> and I also look like I could work at the DMV. <laughs> Dude, you want, you want to like, scratch your back real quick? You want to like, scratch anything? Just anything at all? Actually, my back would be nice. So I think we're gonna have to go with three fingers, maybe four on a good on a good day. What do you think? I mean, we have to go out there and test them first. But it has to be the fifty, the hundred dollar, oh, right, right, right. or the hundred and fifty dollar range. We can't say an answer, no answers. Oh, okay. But like, I think that the metal quality isn't bad, and yeah, they don't fit my fingers, but for somebody's fingers, they're probably devastating. If these were in your hands, they look like school buses on each finger. <laughs> oh, I get it, because my hands are so big. No, it's because your your hands and everything else is so small. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? What do you what honestly? Do you I'm only gonna say that this because I hope that's the case. I hope they're $50 or less. I'm thinking they're gonna be more just because of the fact that they're all individually packaged. That's a good point. Yeah, you're like, we're like, this one is like. It would be different if they all came, like, and this whole thing came as a set, but the fact that they're all individually packaged, for me, I'm thinking probably like $8 each or something on each one. $5 each at eight. Well, that's, you know. Don't math aloud. Let's what go you... outside and test it. We'll see what it, how the quality comes out, and then I think I can get my pinpointed guess. All right, guys, we have three of them on right now. I am gonna be trying trying to do this, but I have a fear that if I hit too hard, you know, they see that? Yes. That's called a breakage. <laughs> <laughs> That's called pain. That's called me not being able to play Fortnite. Okay, so let's try it out. I'm just gonna go for a big slash right here, Black Panther style. Let's see what happens. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. You're gonna give me a Wakanda forever or something. Oh, okay. Um, do you think I have the right to do that? Like, do I, do I have the credibility yeah, to do that? just put on an accent, like, Wakanda forever! Wakanda forever! <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude! 
that wasn't the best hit ever? But I think I got some puncture in I there. I feel like you were afraid. Oh! <laughs> Okay, I was afraid, but let's try it out a few more times. The real difficulty is that I'm afraid of breaking my fingers. All right, next one. Ready? I need another one. Wakanda forever. <laughs> These things are hard to use, but they're pretty sick. All right, I'm going to try to just go for a straight up full blown stab, see if that works a little better. Three, two, one. Oh! And you come back and then you finish it. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, dude. That's how you give somebody the middle finger. I mean it. <laughs> okay, either my fingers are... No, that's just possible. Also, either my fingers are really small or these things suck. But it has to just be the, the second. These things suck. <laughs> if you guys don't know, Marcus' whole life has been lived in denial. No, it is not. It's been a compensation of my finger's size. Okay, so... I'm Why, he has a Ford F-150. <laughs> I'm going to try them out. We're going to try to see if they're throwable. See if they have something useful about them. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Alright, I don't know about you. We're gonna go inside right now. We're gonna go ahead and give this thing a grade and also guess what price range it's within. Alright, so now we're gonna find out who gets to keep these. Most importantly, who gets a $500. So, what is your guess on this one? I gotta say, as somebody who used them, they were nice. The structure, the way they are designed is great. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is not something that goes along with saying that they're great. I feel like if my hands were Shaquille O'Neal's, Right. Then maybe this would have been like, you know, just ripping shreds. Oh, yeah, yeah. But for me, I could barely hit the cusp of it. So I was pulling with this on each hit. So if you don't want fingernails, then if this you don't is want fingernails or the skin on top of them, then this is perfect for you. But I'm going to go ahead and say, because of the fact I think you have bigger hands, I'm going to say these were $100. I'm going to say $100 because they were individually packaged. I can see where you're coming from on that. And I don't say I disagree, but, but I disagree. <laughs> my opinion, basically. Based off the way they perform, I know they're individually packaged, and I think that does ramp up the price. However, honestly, come on, these are these, these are cheap. Like they to were me, bad. They, they, were they, bad. They, they they performed very poorly. I think they're very cheap. I'm actually gonna know. go for 50 and under. Okay, so I'm gonna check the notes right now. We will see, and this will be the first number. We get this $150 jackpot. I almost can guarantee I can count on. I can count at least three ways. Parker's from. <laughs> All right, we're gonna find out though. Let's see who's right. Okay, so the grand prize, number one. Give me a drum roll. This is a very sad drum roll. I, I, I'm holding the camera. This is like if Nick Cannon and Drumline had cancer. Nope. <laughs> <It'd be laughs> well, totally how about I give you a Phil Collins? I was fucking right and Parker wore so wrong. How'd you sing Five Finger Death Colin? <laughs> I was right because these things charge. And I'm not even gonna lie, ripoff artist. $15 each. That's $15 Whoa, a finger. This, 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 this one thing right here. That thing is $15. 15 buckers. You tell me whoever's on the $10 bill and a Lincoln? And a Lincoln. I don't know who's on the $10 bill. I think it's some guy named Jackson, but who cares? I'm pretty sure it's like, oh, oh, I have a 10. Okay, there's five. That's Lincoln. Uh, it's, oh, it's Alexander Hamilton. He made, he made a phone or something. Yeah, who cares? All right. <laughs> so 15 bucks. I am getting the first points on the board. Put them on there. This is a daily occurrence. Every single time we film, every time I film a video here, anything that happens, any movement goes on, Daisy needs to tear up her bed. The damage on this corner, this corner, and this corner. What, now you don't want to do it? What, you don't like oh. sleep? What, you don't like nice things? All right, let's pull out the next item. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. Feels like it's falling apart. Oh, wish. Oh my god. <laughs> it looks interesting, but at the same time, it looks like wish. Okay, so that's obviously some sort of laser. <laughs> it's got a red dot sight. It's a laser taser. Let's see what it says. Tactical composite crossbow. So, okay. We, we, I figured it was a crossbow by the look of it. <laughs> I'm going to so, say it shoots. Oh. Wait, and it shoots these little BBs, I think. Yeah, these aren't some sort of toothpick, man. These are Dude, like This is like real... a big pin. <laughs> you ever run out of ink in class? There you go. <laughs> That's exactly what it looks like. But that little sharp tip could do some damage. I don't know about these little ball beads. What are you thinking on this one? I have no clue. If that last item was not as expensive as we thought, what about this then? That's exactly what I'm thinking. It's got late. So, this has to be less than 50. This has to, this little thing I don't know. must be less than 50. I can, you know what, I get where you're coming from, but at the same time, for something on Wish, 
to come with all this stuff, like to where you don't have to order separately, yeah. which is very rare, comes with the laser. It ca it came assembled. That's rare. That is also this rare. This is actually metal. That is actually wired. It's just kind of overcharged, like, oh, we did just it for typical you. typical Chinese over... I will say yeah. that the crossbow mechanisms are pretty intricate for such a small crossbow. This kind of reminds me of, remember the toothpick crossbow? I do remember that. Let's see. Oh my god! <laughs> it's like that, it's like the in-between stage of a crossbow and that. <laughs> but you know what, but you know what's the difference is that that thing was too much fun. That thing was too much fun. Let's see if this thing is too much fun or just enough fun. If it's just enough fun, I don't want it. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go outside and test this thing, see if it has any power on it. I'm gonna go ahead and dry fire and see what happens. Hey, it shoots something. It, it, it moves. It works. <laughs> All right, guys. So the mini crossbow is here. I don't know what to expect with Wish today, guys. Let's go ahead and pull this back. It locks into place. So now I just put the arrow in there. That is, it is not, it does not seem safe whatsoever. <laughs> Hey, it shot! Wow. That shot a lot farther than I thought it would. <laughs> All right, it does shoot, so we gotta give it that. Let's aim for a target. Let's see where we can go from there. All right, mini crossbow pocket shot. Let's see if it does some damage. <laughs> oh my god, that the is littlest. the littlest puncture <laughs> yeah. of all time! Oh, but dude, it's shot! This little pocket shot, you can get a good prick in the neck with that thing! Alright, we're gonna be trying out a soda can. This thing should be a little bit better for an example. Let's see how this works. And it also shoots more than just these air darts. Here we go. Three, two, one. Hey, dude! We got a little oh. bit more damage on it right there. Not bad. <laughs> it's not much. Oh. <laughs> all right, guys. So it also shoots these little mini cannonball things. But I thought right here, I saw right here's a little hole. So you pull this back. It locks into place. You drop the shot in there. It loads it, and then boom! It's pretty sweet, and it looked like it would leave a good sting. Let's try it out right now. Then we're trying a bigger target. Got a can right here. Let's see if it's gonna work. That did not work. <laughs> That was like the most puny of sound. Yes, it very much was. Okay, how do you think this is gonna work if the last thing didn't work? How How is this the better, oh, this is gonna be easier than the last one? They're really digging in there. I didn't say it was gonna work, right? <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking maybe it could work. All right, question, Mr. Smart Guy. Yeah. Okay, yeah. this is root beer, yeah. this is diet. Uh -huh. Which one's gonna float, which one's gonna sink? Let's find out. I'm saying the root beer's gonna sink. I, God, see it? We root sinks. never know, I'm blind. Root beer sinks and the diet stays, the diet floats. You, uh, you procured this test. No, I went to fourth grade science class and showed up. <laughs> Let's try this out. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, all right? Three, two, one. What were we really expecting, though? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, we're all kind of tensed up. Like, what was gonna happen there? All right, I'm gonna try the bolt this time. This is not working. All right, three, wait, two, two one. Okay, this is not working. <laughs> all right, going inside. Hopefully, something else in there can help us along with this. No, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> this is gonna be a, this is gonna be a no for me, dog. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say that it had to be under fifty. Under, I I agree. I agree. That had to be under fifty dollars. Okay, I will say that this thing is sick. It is a nice little pocket shot, but there is no way you could be charging somebody more than fifty dollars for a little thing like this, even if it is cool. I agree, but I do not think that is sick. The idea of it is sick. Where's the? It didn't have the laser anymore. Like the laser just, came off. The laser was there. But the laser maybe could have been like you know. fifty dollars. <laughs> yeah. All right, let me look at the price and we'll see what we got here. Forty-four dollars. Damn, you, you know be they they, <laughs> they they pressed the gas on that as much as they could. Then forty dollars. So we were both right on this one. That would make it to where I am the winner. Unless you don't get the next one. Unless I don't get the next one. But I'm pretty sure it's like. And you are very presumptuous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna check out the next item. If I'm somehow wrong, then I don't win. And if Parker's Somehow, right, not gonna happen. Then he can win. All right, guys, next item. Let's see what we got here. Whoa, Ooh, <laughs> that dude, whole rifle. That is a whole rifle. Holy crap, whole rifle. Holy crap. <laughs> you know, it's quality. Hmm. Buy it today, shoot it next year. <laughs> <laughs> you buy this thing, you can take a shot every single year for the next 10 years, and it would still be okay. Oh, well. <laughs> I would, I would hope so, but they never guaranteed how much you could shoot it. Hey, if you ever, for any reason, need to return it, don't, don't, don't. Just, just don't, don't bring it to the store because they will kick you out. As somebody who has returned guns to the store, they will kick you out. If you just, you know, use hold the gun in and start waving it all over the place. Well, how was I supposed to know? I was just doing a couple test shots. <laughs> <laughs> I have no clue what the price is going to be on this. I'm going to stop slamming it so much. I'm assuming yeah. I paid a good amount for it. Let's get the unboxing knife. Let's pop it open. 
So <laughs> this, thing's, this thing is freaking old, man. It's from 1866. I didn't even know they had boxes and brandy like this. Jesus, man, I didn't even know they had freaking warnings back then. The only warnings they had back then was just to prevent gout. <laughs> <laughs> and scurvy. <laughs> and scurvy. That's the only issue you gotta worry about. It says starring. Not even, not just featuring. Starring. When you use this to be starring a 20 inch steel octagonal barrel. I don't even know why octagonal matters, but it does. <laughs> don't you know what that is? 20 inch steel octagonal starring. It's, it's the rocks, great grandfather. Oh, okay. The 20 inch still octagonal barrels is cock. Dorain the cock Johnson. Dorain? <laughs> Let's pop this thing open. I have no clue what I'm saying on the price already. I'm guaranteeing this has to be more than 100 bucks. But I'm saying over 150. This is the only thing worth it to me. Well, that just would... because you just started saying it, I was thinking still. You just can't say it. Oh, I claim this answer category. Well, you can You can also claim this answer category. There's no rules. If I say that and you're right, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Usually a lot of these replica made weapons guys, they don't have to be necessarily powerful. You're paying for them to be like a representation of that time period. So let's see what we got. Oh my God. Whoa. It's gold. <laughs> okay, like, I saw that on the box, but I didn't think it was going to look that good. Yeah, the gold is actually pretty sweet. All right, so this is supposed to be a replica, your John Marston cowboy rifle right here. Hey, man. The gold looks good. <laughs> I don't know if gold just makes everything look good or if this gold looks good. I don't know. Ask Cod. <laughs> <laughs> if I had to play the game to get the 10th prestige, I'm saying it's sick. All right. It feels super solid, and I definitely like the You feel up here, it feels pretty good. It's a mm. decent quality, but the power, I'm not sure on it yet. We're going to go outside and try it out, and you guys right now guess. What price range do you guys think it fell within? 150. Great answer, but I don't have any other options, so 150. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're trying this thing out for the first time. Let's see how it works. What your expectations i have like gold gives me high expectations but it's also still from 1866 so even if this was a real gun it'd probably be weaker than most air guns wow yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean kind of said it everything right there yeah so let's try it out we're gonna see and see the quality the gold matches up to gold standards let's go all right we got three targets here i'm gonna go for the double collat on the cans and we're gonna aim for the barbasol lines the way thicker metal i think there's that it should be able to get through about just about anything three two one <laughs> ah! Easy collapse. Next one. Nice. All right, so now left. We got the Barbasol can. These ones are a lot thicker to get through. It even says it on there. Thick and rich. Okay, let's try it out. All right, here we go. Last one. Let's see what happens. Well, that reaction told me they liked it a lot. <laughs> Dude, got through both sides. All right, guys. I'm going to say this has got some power, so I think we could probably take it up a notch. It wouldn't be an issue. All right, so we got three jars right there. And these are a little thicker glass. Do you think it's going to work? I don't know. I don't really. I that mean, is a, that is a, you guys didn't see him. He was going. That is the definition of on the fence. <laughs> I don't know where to go. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to go with. No. Okay. <laughs> three, two, one. All right, let's try to see if we can go for the other two now. <laughs> That's nothing, dude. Oh my God, it's still standing. <laughs> it's still standing with one on it. We're gonna hit this one too while it's still standing. But it says not to pump it past 10 pumps. Right. Um, I did 11 and more damage. Dude, what, what are you doing? Hey, wait, 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 it's not, it's not recording. What the hell? Oh, no, it's 11. Wrong. It's, I have problems. It's, what's one more than the recommended? I don't care. This next shot, I'm gonna be doing 25. Well, what? One <laughs> <laughs> Five. This is this is wrong. With every warning on that box said not to do this. It's shaking with power. It's shaking with power. It's shaking with regret. I better shoot it before it blows up in my hand. And go. Dude, check out the shot on that one. It went just like straight through the top. The jar's still together. All right. I'm gonna go and say I like this thing so far. I, I give it a pass so far. I give it a more than hundred fifty dollars. <laughs> All right, man. I gotta say, I already won because I have the answer right. But I, I'm gonna say over 150. 50, 150 over. I was already saying that. Well, you, you didn't say it. It's over 150. Okay, it's 150 or over. This thing has to be over 150. It's a beautiful replica, and it's actually pretty powerful. So I'm gonna check it out. We will see what the price is, and if somehow I'm wrong, which there's logically, if you're watching, there's no way I could be wrong. Oh, Frank, I'm wrong. Get out of right. <laughs> Yeah. No, but I win because I got the first one right and you got, you got that one wrong. wrong. You said it. Because we got the, I got the, the winner. I got the, the winner was a chicken dinner. But I got All right, you remember that target from earlier? Yeah. Back. I, I see that. <laughs> For vengeance. Okay, so the other thing couldn't do it, but maybe since this thing's got a little power, maybe this could do it. Three, two, one. Oh! I hit oh. the soda can! Dude! 
<laughs> Let's reload it. Wow, that's like a movie crack, man. That is insane, man. dude. That is sick. We're gonna finish it off though now. All right, Here we on. go. Three, two, one. Oh! That was sick. <laughs> look at the look at the roof here in there. <laughs> This thing is dope! Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new here and make sure you guys turn on post notifications if you guys haven't already. With all this madness going on, I'm going to try my absolute best to make sure there's content for you guys to watch. Make sure you guys have post notifications on and also check out this video screen right here, which is actually the last epic video in this series, where we guess the item's price and see if we can get the grand prize at the end. Go check out the last episode, it'll put you on a playlist of the series. And as always, Rep Fact, I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios!